Still the Rapes is Rabbit, and I decided today was the day I was going to start a new series, and it is Faster Than Light. I've been wanting to start a new series for a while now, and I have to say, I couldn't think of a game I was really wanting to do, and the whole time I was sitting there like every day for a few hours on end, just playing Faster Than Light, loving the hell out of this game, and it never occurred to me, oh, I could just be recording this game. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to start this now. Uh, yeah, confirm. Okay, if you ain't played this game, this is it's a top-down um, game where it's a strategy game. It's taking your time and figuring out how to hit things and where to hit them and what to do in any given situation. There's lots of risk involved, lots of gambling basically, and and it, you you'll get situations where you'll say, okay, here's a good for instance. You'll say. You've came across a ship that's had giant spiders, you know, infesting it. Do you try to go in and kill the spiders? Yes or no? And you don't actually get to play that part. It's just a gamble. It's just a flip of the coin. Yes or no? If you say yes, then you flip that coin, and a crew member might die from a giant spider, or you might get some a new weapon or some scrap, which is basically currency in this game. These are my ships I've unlocked so far. I've unlocked every ship in the game, except one. That's going to be my primary mission through all these Let's Plays, is to finally unlock that ship. It, and there's two ways to do that. So, the first way, and the most straightforward way of unlocking it, you have to have every ship in the game to be able to do it. Which is, you have to beat the game with every one of these ships right here, all eight of these, that one don't count, twice, with the A variant and the B variant. This is a pain in the ass. This is extremely hard. Now, I could put it on easy, but I'm not. No, screw that noise. We're doing it on normal. And, and see, if we, screw you if you say it, but it on hard, no. Um, it, normal is plenty hard enough, thank you. We're doing it on normal. I'm going to try to beat the game 14 times. Or, no, wait a minute, what is that? 8 plus 8 is what? Or, 16 times. 16 times. Math is failing me. 16 times. Yeah, 9 plus 9 is 18. Okay, anyway. Um, I have to beat this game that many times to unlock that ship. I've beat it with two ships so far. Both the A variants, and I've not. I don't think I beat it with a B variant. Yet. Or no, I beat it with one of the B variants. I think I beat it with that one. It's hard to tell just looking at them. They don't tell you, I don't think. But or no, I haven't. I think that's it right there. It's, if you have a, you know, that's A variant B and C, and I think it's they're lit up. That means you beat it. I'm not sure. Anyway, I beat it with these two. I beat it with the Zoltan Type A, and I beat it with the Vitter. Ugh, excuse me, Better B. Yeah. I'm getting over a cold, so I'm having a little trouble speaking. I beat it with the Zoltan Cruiser Type A and the Federation Cruiser Type A. The Federation was the first one I beat it with, and it was just pure luck. I, I, I was way underskilled to beat it when I beat it back then, but that's beside the point. The other way to unlock this crystal ship, which I know what it is, it's a crystal ship. Screw the unidentified cruiser, it's the crystal ship, is a quest mission. Involving finding a stasis pod, then finding in another sector a uh, the ability to unlock the stasis pod, and then getting lucky that there's the, the home world for the rock people here. Good old Justin and Cy Hinge. <laughs> I love their names. Uh, yeah. And then maybe being able to find the crystal sector. And if you can do all that, then you can unlock the crystal ship. It is... So, I've not done it yet. I've played the hell out of this game and not been able to do it. I mean, you might say, well, this is a crystal ship. No, this is the Class C of the rock ship, which has crystal parts to it. Because the rock men and crystal are, uh, in the lore of the game, related. They're like uh, various evolutionary branches from the same species kind of deal. Now, I'm just getting over a cold. So I'm sniffling a lot and coughing, so I'll be muting my mic and whatnot. I'll try to edit most of that out. But anyway, without further ado, we're trying to get this ship 
I have all these unlocked. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about each and every ship pretty much as I go, but we're going to start with the basic Federation cruiser, the one everybody's seen. This is the one you start with, I think, no, I have, what? Have I beat the game with this one? Or did I beat it with another one? Because it says I have. Defeat the flagship with any layout of the Crystal Cruiser. Huh. Wait a minute here. Okay, can I look up? Yeah, it'll tell me my stats, I think, which ships. Okay, I, I looked around and I figured it out. I haven't unlocked this yet. That's just saying I can do this. That's how I get this achievement. If I go over some, I ah, see those are in white instead of gray. I have unlocked these two. I've beat it with this one, but not with the second one. So my theory was correct in that the gray boxes are ones that you have beat it with and ones that you have not. So I've done the A with this one and this one, and I've done the B with that one. But I've not beat the game with any of the other ships yet. Okay, since we have that mystery solved... We need to beat it with this ship, so let's get started, guys. The premise of the game, which is being very quickly explained to you right here, is that you have vital information that the Federation needs, and you have to get it to the Federation as quickly as possible before the, um, oh, what are they called? Dang it. The Rebels, the Rebel fleet, catches up with you and destroys you and stops you from getting that important information to them. So, that's what that was basically saying. Now, we got two weapons here. We're going to arm both of them. We don't need med bays right now, so we're going to power that down and put power from the med bays to the engines. So right now we're powering shields, engines, oxygen, which you normally want to keep oxygen power, just saying. And weapons. Weapon-wise, we have a burst laser, which is a really good weapon. This is a, basically an in-game weapon. You, can, you, you, you never get rid of this weapon. This is one of those weapons that if you start with it with any ship, you keep through the whole game because it's just dang good. And the Artemis, which is a missile weapon. Um, missile weapons kind of suck. They're nice starting out, but unless it's the Swarm or the Pegasus, you usually just get rid of them. That's kind of my feelings towards them anyway. They're nice because they can go through shields, but nah. Screw them otherwise. Uh, look how the course is. Go through here. I could hit those two. Early on, I like to hit nebulas because it will slow down the approach and let you hit more sectors than what you would normally get to starting out. So I think I'll do that. And we'll go down there and then go up and then around. Um, there you go. Show signs of battle. Uh... Do I move in to investigate or stay near the beacon? I'll move into the station. Find a cloning bay. Uh, nothing seems to be functioning. Oh, well, scrap the machinery. If I'd had a cloning bay, I think it would have let me do a blue option, which would be to get the data off the cloning bay and get a free person. But as it stands, all I can get is nine scrap out of it. Not a, not a, not a, not a horrible start, but not a good one either. At least it's not scrap. Um, you usually get very little amounts of scrap like that in this sector. Ah, well. Okay, they're greetings for a small fee. We'll let you go by and not attack your ass. Reject that offer. Too bad. You will regret this decision. No, you're, you're pretty much already fucked. Okay, I've got the game paused. And this is the one thing I love about this game. You can immediately pause it and just tell the game what you want to happen and then unpause it and watch it happen. It's one of those games. So, what we're going to do is the Artemis will charge up first. Uh, I think... Okay, that's... Oh, that laser weapon. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. And they're going to get off... Yeah, they're going to... I'm going to take some damage here. Because that those two charge faster than what mine do. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell them to hit that. And... Oh, they've got... Oh, teleporters. Okay. So... Well... Thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm gonna see how they teleport in. Okay, they, Mantis, that's not good. Mantises are pretty damn badass. I hate to take him away from engines because that will lower my evasion rating right there. And that's really important. You, you learn that later on. That invasion really means a lot in this game. You want your evasion high. Okay, I'm gonna have to. 
That takes my vision down to 15, so this is probably going to hit. Oh, yeah, and I took a point of damage. Okay, now their shields are down. Now, since my laser is going to hit their weapons, knocking both of those out. That guy's about dead. They're getting very quickly screwed. Yep, there you go. Your ship is a superiorly equipped. Please, take this and let us live. After you said, give us money or we will kill you, they're begging for their lives. No. <laughs> no. Especially this piddly amount that they're offering. If they had offered a weapon, I'd be like, ah, eh, fuck it, sure, I'll, I'll take your weapon. But no, we will not surrender. You know what, go ahead and just heal those two, because they don't stand a chance at this point. They have no weapons, no shields. They're dead in the water. I'm not even going to waste another missile on them. See, I got double the amount that they were going to offer me and way more scrap. That was a good decision. Okay, go back to your positions, which, by the way, if you notice how I did that, this, these two buttons right here, this will return crew to their positions, this will save the current positions that they're at. Very handy. And over here, this will close all doors, this once will open all doors, twice will open all, including the outside doors, which is, you know, sucking air out of your ship, which can be useful. Power down that, power up that ship. Okay, uh... I think I want to go ahead and get shields moving up, and I'm going to go ahead and hit this area, which I should barely have time still to hit the other one. Automated attack ship. Oh, it's hacking. I hate that. Yeah, go ahead and attack it. It don't matter. These ships are usually real easy to kill. It ain't, it ain't a big deal. Come on now. Come on. Let's see something. Hurry up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was sitting here complaining, and it was ready. Uh, go ahead and throw an Artemis to their shields, and I'll do the same attack with a little more. Oh, two misses in a row. Sad. Why my shields back up yet? Oh. Oh, okay, they used an iron weapon. They hit my shields. That tis temporarily disables my shields. Very nice when you only have one shield, but later in the game it's not nearly as effective. Oh, there's one point of damage again. Still not going to bother with Artemis. Just go ahead and... There we go. Because, like I said before, missiles, the big thing with missiles is if you're really using them every fight, you run through them so fast. This little guy's evasive as hell, too. That's why I'm attacking this instead of his shields or his weapons, because I want to disable his ability to be evasive. And there you go. He's gone. Boop, boop. Got more stuffs. Uh, okay, having a second shield right now ain't going to be useful because I won't be able to power it. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. So next 30 I get, I will be able to power it. Next 30 scrap, that is, of course. Another one of these little guys. Oh, he's wanting to run. No, that ain't happening. Oh, and hitting my shield, the bastard. Do the same tech strategy. It's a good little simple strategy. Sadly, he might. No, he ain't. I'm gonna go ahead and use another missile and take that down because I don't want him running away. So that needs to be delayed as quickly as possible. Keep those shields down, and this should kill him. It should. It will kill him because he had no ability to evade. I'm gonna go ahead and get him healed. Okay, uh, I could hit the store up right now. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to just get and skip it because there's other stuff I need to do. Uh, in fact, it's a good strategy, especially early on, just to skip the stores as far as possible until you really have your ship built up. At least, I mean, it depends on the ship and the situation, but in general, you want to hit sectors and not worry about the stores. Because going to a store just means that you can buy stuff. And if you have a lot of scrap, that's wonderful. But if you're tied on it like I am right now, it's useless. It's just a waste of a jump. Okay, same attack strategy. Now, oh crap, that's real bad, especially in this sector. I'm orbiting a sun, meaning here in a bit, my ship will catch on fire. And... Oh, this guy's being an asshole. Okay, you get in there and fix that. 
You launch that to that. And all I can do is hope. Oh, damn you. This isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, come on, hurry up. Get in there and put out that fire. And I'm gonna have to just throw missiles at him because that's all I got right now and I need to get out of this area. Okay, jump immediately. Ooh, I am actually tempted to go to the store now because that will give me a safe spot to jump to. And I have a little bit of money on me, so that might not be a horrible idea. Okay, what we got? Ooh, burst laser mark three. That's honestly, I think it's just too much power for what it's worth. It ain't really worth it, in my opinion. My control's okay. Crew elevator will be good. I don't really need those guys. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and fix my ship and put out this fire. And I am going to put 30 to that. Except. Hurry up and put out that fire, dude. Come on. We ain't got all day. Okay, we're good. We're good now. Fantastic. And I think I'm going to call it an, an episode for right here. I wasn't really keeping track of how long I've been playing. I really need to get a little clock or something to really uh, keep tabs on time. Because I'd like to have these about 15 minutes or so. I'm not sure how long I've been playing now. I think about 10. But anyway, we got our second shields up. We have a good weapon. A nice little backup weapon. Three crew members. We're doing pretty good. I mean, it's mostly just the start and stuff, but that's the fun part of the game. Anyway, remember to like and subscribe. This has been Till the Raven's Rabbit, and I'll see you guys later.